You are watching Cult Fuse Chin. Hey, welcome to another Cold Fusion video, Dagogo here. So, you want to go out and buy a new product, a new phone or camera or something else. But the thing is, you're stuck deciding between two choices. So what do you usually do? Any one of us would probably go out online to read reviews, articles, or watch some YouTube videos comparing the two devices in question. What if there was an app that did this for you? What if this app didn't only compare phones, but cameras, CPUs, tablets, headphones, graphics cards, CDs, PC and gaming headsets, camcorders, monitors, fitness trackers, game consoles, motherboards, TVs, all-in-one DJ, MIDI controllers, universities, robot vacuum cleaners, washing machines, GPS navigation systems, solid state disk drives, and you get the point. Well the fact of the matter is, there is an app that does that, and it's called Versus. What Versus aims to do is use its user-powered comparing engine to compare two of pretty much anything. So let's take a quick look at how it works. All you simply need to do is pull up the app and in the two fields just type in any two devices that you want. When you're done you just click the compare button, automatically it will bring up the pros and cons of each versus the other. So the thing about this is this is based solely on specs and features. So here I've put the Nexus 5 versus the OnePlus One. So on the left you can see it's got the top 31 reasons to get a Nexus 5 over the OnePlus One. So according to over 700 users, the top reason is because it's got a 10.97% higher pixel density, i.e. 445 ppi versus 401. And then on the right it's got the top 22 reasons to buy the OnePlus One. And over 1,200 people have said because of the battery. Got 34.78% more battery power, 3,100 milliamp hours versus 2,300 milliamp hours. Now, of course, this doesn't include any real testing or uh, anything like that. It's just, as I said before, all based on specs. Reading through a couple more of the Nexus 5 Pros, we've got direct updates from the OS vendor, has built-in optical image stabilization, wireless charging, and then it says vastly more internal storage, 32 gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes. Now, if you actually know what's going on, you'll know that this is actually inaccurate. And this brings us to the actual only problem with this app. Because it's user-based, not all the information on here is completely accurate. So, we all know that the OnePlus One comes in a 64GB variant, but they seem to have missed that point here. So you may notice a few little things like that. And because of some of these inaccuracies, I would make it a point that this app isn't to make your final decision. It's not the be-all and end-all. It's really just to give you a bit of an idea before doing some further research and making the decision for yourself. So all in all, it's a great idea for an app and would save a lot of people a lot of time. But just because of those small inaccuracies, it's not as good as it possibly could have been. And really because of that, it turns into a rough guide. But I still recommend you go out, check it out, and I'm sure with time, these little things will improve. But yeah, it's pretty much got all the specs and everything that you need to know for most of the devices. So yeah, that's the Versus app, and I just thought you guys might be a little bit interested in that, as most of you are pretty interested in the latest devices and comparing one of them to one another. So I just thought this might save some time for some of you guys out there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and that was just a quick look at the Versus app. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.